So I'm Kelvin To and I'm a clinical microbiologist. So uh, here I want to show you our laboratory. This. So um, this is what um, some of my team members work. Um, this is uh, Charlotte. She works on a lot of different uh, viral proteins. This is uh, Peel. Uh, he's our master in making proteins. Let's go over this. Dr. To, what is yes. protein? Protein? Um, yes. Can I show you the gel figure? Okay, so every life organism has proteins, um, so has virus. So uh, these proteins are very important for, for the different functions of virus. Uh, for example, the enzymes. Um, for example, in um, the SARS-CoV-2, the COVID virus, one of the surface protein called a spike protein is very important for infecting the cells. So actually, for the live COVID virus, we don't work here. This is, uh, this is a normal P2 lab where we don't work with live viruses. So here, there's no, no risk. I always find the uh, place with the biosafety cabinet the most uh, memorable. What are these oh, things? These are minus 80 freezers. So uh, for a lot of the viruses that we keep, or a lot of reagents, they must be stored at minus 80 degrees Celsius. It's much, much colder than the normal freezer at home. And for example, the new um, COVID vaccine, those mRNA or DNA vaccine, especially mRNA vaccine, they must be stored at uh, minus 80 degrees Celsius. Uh, so uh, this is why people say uh, storage is a problem for these MRA vaccines. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, for all these freezers, uh, there's temperature monitor uh, all the time. So uh, we make sure that it's at the correct temperature. Uh, we even have external monitors for these freezers to make sure that it works. So one of my nightmares is when these freezers break down, they always break down in the middle of the night or during Christmas or during New Year. Uh, it happen, always happens at that time. So a lot of the times we have to come back and move our treasures to another freezer. So that is very important. Yeah. This is our P2 lab, the virus lab. This is not the COVID lab because COVID is P3. So if you can see through the door, um, there are these, we call it biosafety cabinets, where we work with the viruses. So uh, we never take open a flask of virus outside on the bench because they can infect us. So everything must be done inside the biosafety cabinet. Working in these biosafety cabinet is kind of an interesting experience. You know that what you're working with, with is, uh, uh, is very clean, it's very safe, you feel safe working there, and a lot of most of, a lot of, all of the great discoveries of the viruses are actually made inside these, uh, these uh, biosafety cabinets. I always tell my staff that if I met species, I always try to want to work on the, in these biosafety cabinets or bench again because it's fun to work uh, hands-on with all the wet lab uh, experiments. Uh, so um, it's just Nowadays, I'm just too busy. I can't really uh, do a lot of things on the bench, but uh, it's something that is uh, fun. So I, I sometimes, uh, occasionally, I will come to the lab and uh, just do a little bit of uh, hands-on work occasionally, uh, just to play a little bit. Yeah. Being a clinical microbiologist or being a researcher is actually fun. Uh, it's a lot of hard work, but it's a very rewarding job. And uh, I always encourage young people to pursue a career in science or research. I mean, uh, it's, you, in no other jobs you get the satisfaction. In research, you can really do something that benefits the whole world. Uh, 
this is seldom, this is for some of the jobs that you got in research, this is what you can do and achieve. And uh, I hope the young people will um, consider being a researcher. It's fun. <laughs>